Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store that has everything for photographers, especially photographers like Norm Beer. And Norm has been uh, so gracious to let me show you something that I think is pretty fascinating. It's your small studio. Now this used to be a two car garage, essentially. Yep. yep. Um, and you've converted this to be a full-fledged professional studio. Absolutely. And the cool thing about this is a lot of people have been writing to me saying, hey, I've got a small space, a room in my house, um, maybe a garage, sort of a, you know, a tough shed, something like that. Um, how do you make that into a studio space? And the thing that I love about this is you've done a, a lot of really cool things to optimize every inch of this garage. And so that's what this episode is about. We're going to show you how Norm has optimized this space to do some really cool things, including some really awesome things with the ceiling, some storage where the garage is. Um, anyway, I want you to tell me about it. So let's first talk about this background and all these lights that you have up here, how you've done it. Let's start with the background though. What is this? Uh, this is just a, a three roller system. <laughs> um, and we've got white, gray, and black, interchangeable. Takes just seconds to switch out. Um, and behind it is a uh, dead flat white wall as well. So if I don't want that, I can just use that, which so works out great. Yeah, so all kinds of, and you can put any color you want. This Anything is I want. nine foot rolls, basically, with yes. these are. Yeah. Yes, and I can actually go wider, but it's set for nine right now. All right, now, now something that I think is really cool is you have these uh, lights and flags and stuff that seem to be sort of floating in midair because there's no stands underneath these. Magic. So <laughs> it's photography magic. How is that happening? Tell us about what you've done to the ceiling here. These are some struts that I picked up at Home Depot, and I was looking, trying to find a solution, and found these and thought, you know what, this will be great. It was much less expensive, believe it or not, than that angle iron, mm -hmm. and these hold a tremendous amount of weight. I mean, we could hang off of these no problem and nothing's moving. So these are bolted into the studs, is that right? They're bolted into the rafters. Okay, and what are these things called? If somebody's they're gonna a, go buy them, what are they they're called? They're a super strut. A super strut. Super strut. All right, and then how do you mount this stuff to your super strut? It's got a channel basically, right? Yeah, there's a channel and um, there's some parts that interlock, they lock up in there and they're bolted. And the nice thing is that that way we can get our safety cables and nothing can fall. So even if we do have something happen, the lights aren't coming down on a client. They're just gonna sort of dangle there. They're gonna just dangle, yeah, exactly. And on these we have the um, grip heads right. and we've got some magic arms um, and they hold everything in place. So this is all Avenger, uh, Avenger Coupo, Manfrotto parts? All of it, yeah. Okay, just that's your basic it. stuff. And so you can just bolt, you clamp that onto a bolt, and then that's going to support quite a bit of, of weight. Now you've also over here on this side um, created sort of a storage area um, for your light stands and that kind of stuff using a similar system. You can mount C stands, grip arms, arms, uh, you name it, can all mount right there. It's so, out of the way, it's off the floor, and it actually, you know, Look sexy. And to make this look nice and look sexy like you call it, you've got, uh, you've also hung rods to put curtains up essentially. Yeah, and that is just half inch pipe, threaded pipe, cut to the right size, mounted to the same um, ceiling joists, and just again, just got these little Home Depot curtain hangers and hung the curtains. And they're interchangeable. I can change any color I want. So if I need to get a color cast for some reason, right. or if I want a different background, I can just turn and shoot up against that and, uh, and make it totally flexible. Okay, well let's talk about um, this area over here and how, because you've got a bunch of uh, SKB cases, you've got a bunch of softbox, you've got some tether tools, equipment over here. So let's take a look at how you've organized your storage for the big stuff and again, take a closer look at these curtains. And then after we do that, let's take another look at your storage over here. So let's do that next. All right, so now we're here with, uh, this is sort of the garage. This is where the garage door would open and cars would normally park, but you've converted this to some storage with these SKB, uh, SKB cases. Is that what these guys are? Yeah, these are SKB cases. But to clarify something, 
the garage door still opens. Okay. And I can still get two cars in here if I had to. If you had to. If okay. Had still to. functioning garage. That's it's cool. still functioning. So I didn't take any functionality out of it. Awesome. So, which is great. Cool. Yes. These are SKB cases. Um, these are amazing cases. All of my big gear gets stored really nicely in here. Um, when I'm going and shooting events, mm -hmm. it's really nice and compact. They're super sturdy. And so you just I pull these them. out as you need. Pull them out then... as I need it. Everything, I know what's what. It's all marked. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's, there. I, I did see this. This is sort of a trick that I liked. Um, tell me about what this guy is and what it does. Well, this is actually a repurposed flight drug box case. Okay, because you used to be a... Flight paramedic. Okay, firefighter. right. So, grids are always damaged. I don't right. know how many times I picked up a grid, especially a five or a 10, and you can't see through it at all. In here, it stores them really nice. They're protected. As long as you don't leave it open and drop it, you're, you're right. totally safe. So if you don't have a flight case like this guy, um, you can just use you know anything that's made by Tenba or SKB or some just a case that's gonna keep your stuff separate from being dropped and smashed and and, it's, and all that kind of stuff. You know, people have said, oh, that takes up a lot of room. Right. But the insurance on it for those grids is worth it yeah. tenfold. So you don't want to show up to a shoot and have your honeycombs all smashed up and, and no good. Yeah, no. So do that. It's an awesome trick. And then this over here, I notice you have one of my favorite things. A tether table on a rolling stand with exactly. a little cup holder. Yep, with the uh, famous Mark Wallace cup holder here. <laughs> That's right, to hold on your coffee. Exactly. Yeah. So what do you use? It seems like in a small studio, this would be uh, like high on the list of things that you'd want, just so you'd have a place to put all your pocket wizards, your laptop, all that kind of stuff. Oh, absolutely. It's mm -hmm. it's essential. I really do need it. Um, I use it all the time. Uh, I'm actually thinking about getting another one so that I can have a separate table just for these items and then for the laptop. Right. Now I've got, I have to say, I have about in my studio, I think we have like six or seven of these. We have them all over the place because not only do we have laptops on them, but we also keep things like our light meters. We keep spare parts. And if we were using grids, we stick that on there. Sometimes we have shot lists. We put iPads, um, gray cards that fall off all that stuff, cables. Um, and the nice thing about having a rolling stand is you can just move them out of the way if you need to. So exactly. Cool. All right, enough of this on. stuff. I think you get the idea. Let's take a look at the other wall, which is your storage system that you created for your stands and all the hanging stuff. Well, this is something I think is one of the best ideas I've seen in a small studio. Essentially, you have created your own custom storage space. So how does this work out? Well, what I did was I took some OSB Okay, right here. Mounted it to the wall so that it's in the studs. And I can mount anything anywhere in this and it's gonna be solid. So I took the leftover super strut, mounted it, and the super strut is actually into the studs at the same time. All right, so pretty darn solid. Very solid. And uh, yeah, just got different size bolts. And that's the nice thing with the super strut is you can put any size bolt in there you really want and be able to mount Anything, Anything essentially, yeah. Yeah, so you're holding your boom arms, you're holding your bases, you're holding grip, you're holding booms, right. um, cables, all kinds of stuff on here. Um, and it's really easy to just pull something off and use it in the studio. So it's a fantastic idea. Norm, this has been really informative for me and I think for a lot of people. Now, you actually had a large studio in Phoenix before you moved up here to Eugene, Oregon. Is that right? I did. I had fi a five base studio down there. So massive. And so and everything is in this space? Everything is in this space, tucked away. And usable. So I think if Norm can do it, I think anybody can do it. And this will work with speed lights or studio strobes or pretty much anything that uh, you can bring into a space like this. Well, you know what, what we've done is for more information about some of the different boxes and tools and stands and stuff that Norm is using, I have included links to those things in the description of this video, so check that out. And also for more small studio tips and for lighting setups and shooting and all that kind of stuff, check out the Adorama Learning Center. It's absolutely free. And don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV because it's free and we don't want you to miss a single episode. Well, thanks, Norm, and thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again next time. Do you want 
great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.